Hey everybody, welcome back. We're back down here in the old bait cave, giving you another live stream tonight. It is Sunday night, late September. We'll move you guys around here. I got plug in, my battery's too damn low. Been jamming out all day. Oh hell. So, tonight, if I can get this plugged in, here we go. We got a mixture of stuff we're gonna make. Get you guys situated. There we go. All right. So we have a mess. This is a mess. This clarifies as a mess. We're gonna make some brush beaters tonight in a custom match color. All right. Green pumpkin and purple for one of my boys. We're gonna make some of those tonight. We're gonna to make green pumpkin thick sticks and Senkos. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for all that. Hopefully you guys are where it's dry right now. It's been a great day for making baits because it has been raining. It's huevos off. It's been raining all damn day it feels like. Mr. Collier, your baits are done and getting shipped, well, getting packed tonight after I get done with this. So you should have them in time for the Big Bass Bash, which is coming up. I'm sure a lot of you that are local to the area are probably going to be fishing it. I myself, as of right now, am not. I've got enough going on with work, and you guys are probably going to want baits. So, that takes care of that. Oh, and hey, we shot a video today for the 100 bait giveaway. Uh, the baits are sitting literally right over there. You can't see them. Not yet. I'll show you in just a minute. Presto pot full of goodies. My lady step stool. Try to do some cleanup here. Make it like I look like I know what I'm doing. Oh. oh. So what did everybody do this weekend? Get to go out, go fishing there like that. I went to, uh, so Saturday I went to Thomas Hill with my bud, good buddy Gus. And uh, we got on some fish. The lake's pretty low. It was tough. We avoided Lake of the Ozarks and we avoided uh, Truman. Um, Truman's low. Truman's about two feet low right now. That lake can get pretty damn tough whenever uh, the lake gets low. Can I steal your boat then? Well, which one do you want? I got two of them, actually. One of them's in not so good shape. The other one is a no. <laughs> no. Not taking that one. Sometimes I don't even trust myself to drive it. But yeah, we went to uh, Thomas Hill, Truman's Low. Bite gets tough on Truman. And then of course on Lake of the Ozarks, they had the BFL Super Tournament. It took 30, I think 34 pounds, 35 pounds to win on two day. 15 pound, or a, what was that, 17 pound average? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Lake of the Ozarks in the fall. That's a pretty good average. Um, I didn't watch the live weigh in all of it, but I think the guy that won turned in a pretty good sack on day two. Um, and most of the guys that were on them on day one you know, that caught, I think bleeding was 18, and then it went down to about 13, I think was the cut line or something like that. But the guys that whacked them day one, <laughs> yep, their pattern changed. Didn't work on day two. Scramble mode, probably. So, we'll get this plastic melted, and uh, here's what we're making. 
It's made by a bait company. I'm not going to tell you what because he kind of wants it a little secret. Now, I've made green pumpkin and purple before on the channel. Um, this is an actual exact bait match or color match to a, uh, to a bait. It's a little different, and I like it. It looks good. The tails look real good. So, yeah, we're going to make some of that up tonight. If you saw the or the uh, fishing page, so I was going to try to do live stream on YouTube tonight. Try to get people over on YouTube, subscribe, all that stuff. Come to find out, you got to have a thousand subscribers to even be able to go live. So, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. That's a black back, purple, purple line, pearl belly. These actually, the uh, girlfriend made. They look pretty good. Of course, they're not as good as mine, but they look pretty good. So, we're going to knock out 50 of these brush beaters. Once we get everything up to temperature. Shouldn't take too long, and then after that, we will probably make, uh, I got a request for just a bunch of green pumpkin thick sticks. And uh, maybe some Cinco's. But we'll punch these out first because they've got to go out ASAP for the big bass bash. I think pretty much everybody that's ordered anything in the last week or whatever needs it by the big bass bash. Got to have it, got to have it. And you all will get it. Don't worry. I think I've got about 10 or 12 packages going out the door tomorrow. Mr. Wisdom, I saw you joined in. Yours will not go out until probably Tuesday due to the fact that I gotta let these hang. Otherwise, when you get them, you're not gonna like them. But I know where they're going. It's only a two day turnaround. So you'll have them by the bash. I ain't worried about that. That is a no problem. No problem at all. So yeah, I went to Thomas Hill. It was windy. Anytime uh, Thomas Hill has got wind, especially out of the south like it did, that, that lake lays perfectly north and south. It's a power plant lake. We caught some good fish. Um, yeah, that wind started getting up 15 miles an hour or more. Yeah, you started getting some rollers, some white caps. We had to, didn't have to get off the lake, but we weren't there tournament fishing or nothing. There was a tournament because uh, we could tell one guy shut down right in front of us, cut us off at a bridge. I mean, that's pretty much a dick move. Yo, Mr. Adams, hey, good job on the uh, BFL this weekend. It sucks, didn't get nothing on day two, but hey, that's fishing. At least you were in the hunt. A lot of people weren't. But uh, no, you're, you're going to get your stuff. It's actually laying on the table right over there. Um, as soon as I get done with this live stream, I got a lot of packaging to do. Get it out on the front step for the postman in the morning. The 100 bait uh, giveaway requested green pumpkin, green pumpkin red AB worms. There's a bunch of them. Right here. Hey, well, let's just. There they are. 100 of them. All stacked up. Just hanging. What's Mr. Johnson say? The swimming action on the swim baits. He got some swim baits. They're very nice. But the eyeballs don't make it. Do the eyeballs fall out? All right, they're, they're kind of new. Might need to super glue them in. Um, the eyeballs don't make it, so. Are they falling out? I mean, hey, if they're falling out, let me know. I need to change stuff. I don't know unless you guys tell me. That's what it's all about.
Do to do to do. So who all do we have on here? Randolph County. I figured it was Randolph County. There was a guy in the nitro that was not so friendly. He shut down right in front of us. Which is whatever. Hey, Bill. Just now saw you uh, joined in. With them, Bill. Oh, we got family on here. Mr. Johnson. No, you can't steal my boat. <laughs> Everybody wants to steal the boat. Yep, first cast. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll change that up then. I'll do something with the eyes on those swim baits. Get some better adhesive or something. We will change it up. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. Should have preheated, but whatever. <sighs> Every one of those guys jump boats all day. Yeah, I know. It was pretty bad. I mean, he was literally beating his way. We were coming up to a bridge. Not that we really, you know, was trying to get there before the guy, but he uh, he shut down probably about 20 feet right in front of us. Good thing I have a well-mannered mouth. Sometimes, oh God, get in there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I should have preheated that block, but it'll be fine. It will warm up over time. So thank you guys for tuning in tonight. We had quite the uh, list of people that joined in on the 100 subscribers. Mr. Murphy, what you doing? Yeah, try super gluing the eyes. I'll do that going from now on. Um, I tried using an epoxy to make them stick. <laughs> which might be the ones you've got, and I think it made it worse. So I'll start super gluing everything from now on. The swim bait stuff is new, so have, uh, have a little patience. Heat. Uh oh. I got trouble upstairs. There's that. Come on. Open sesame. So, Jeff, what was the secret bait? You said you had to hand some baits to, uh, to the boater. Come on, spill the beans. You gotta let us all know. I hear a dog. It took more than three pounds to win up there because we probably had 15. We weren't even trying. They were dirt shallow. Do 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 do. Man, it is quiet down here. Turn that on. That. Got so much. Yo, Mr. Mike, howdy, howdy. Thanks for tuning in. What got me started on making my own plastic? Well, boredom, um, kind of. Seeing it done before. Um, 
whether it be YouTube videos or just, you know, other things. Um, just looking, I was really looking for something to do in the wintertime. Um, sometimes work for me is slow in the winter. And instead of sitting on the damn Xbox or whatever, uh -oh, sitting on the Xbox or whatever, I figured might as well make better use of my time. So why not make a bunch of plastic lures? You know, I just kind of really started getting into fishing, tournament fishing, getting hardcore as they, they call it. And I knew what I threw in the summertime. I knew what I like to use. So that's what I started off uh, buying molds for and that sort of thing. Your worms, your brush hogs, your, your beavers, your stuff like that. So those were the first few molds that I bought. And then uh, started just playing around. And one thing leads to another. You win a tournament on Lake of the Ozarks, throw in your special sauce, and here we go. Not exactly doing this to supersede the uh, primary income, because that's not going to happen. But yeah. Uh, there are times where I wish I had a little more time on the weekends to do other things, but you guys put out orders, I'm going to fulfill them. But now that I know more of what everybody likes, wants, um, hopefully this winter, if it slows down, I can make thousands of blue fleck AB worms. Have them on the shelf. That way, I'm not strapped whenever somebody orders a hundred and I don't have a hundred. My boat will look like a tackle shop. Ten inch worm, June bug, red, anywhere between a foot and eighteen feet. Ten inch worm, yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Her uh, deep, deep brush was part of it. And then I heard guys run into the back, shallow as hell. So, welcome to Lake of the Ozarks, Junk Fishing 101. Stayed in the glaze all Saturday. Really, most people that were, uh, you know, catching them, I heard we're down anywhere from the dam up in the gravelways, that area. But, I mean, everything works. You just gotta get it in front of their face. Mr. Hoots! Thanks for tuning in. Making beavers right now. Kind of a green pumpkin purplish color. Custom color match for a fella. So, Yep. These will do work. These look good. These look so good. So good. There is 12. There's 38 to go. Won't take too long. Usually I'm a little faster when I'm not trying to talk. Heard my baits have been working. Well, yeah, I wouldn't say so much right now, of course, from what I heard. You know, people are probably throwing them, which is good. Um, I know over the summer they were, they were making people some money, which is what I hope they do. Hey, anybody watching, fishes the Big Bass Bash, catches the winning fish, with one of my baits, you better show me a picture. You better let me know. You had better let me know. I would get so many orders, I would pull my hair out. 
That's what would happen. Grab always sucked for you. Saturday caught two, yeah. Grab always is either on or off. So is the glaze. This time of year, I like going up, up river. Get away from all that crap. I'm gonna bet that the boat traffic was horrendous. 85 degrees, even though it's after Labor Day, all them people have basically moved to Lake of the Ozarks permanently. Probably out in their big old cruisers doing about eight mile an hour, making a wake. I've been out there when it gets just, oh, thank God I got a big boat. It'll get so rough. You can't see. You go into a wake, you can't see the boat anymore. Whichever, you can't see over the wake. It's that high. It's not a good feeling. Just ride the wave. Like 4th of July weekend, I do not doubt that one bit. I was fishing AIA. It was before Memorial weekend. It was, it was not safe. Lake of the Ozarks gets crazy. You're gonna see my butt on Truman Lake the rest of the year, well, until the championship. That is where I will be. Playing on Truman. A lot of tournaments, big tournaments coming up on Truman later this year. State tournament. Um, AIA. Joe Bass. Truman's going to start getting hit. Better make your reservations. Good, Josh. I'd eat that if it wasn't so hot. Yeah, I think you'll like that. I think you will like them. If you don't, you crazy. You crazy, man. That's good stuff, man. Need more molds. Anybody want to buy me a Christmas present? Molds. I'll take them all. Mr. Boyette, yo, yo. Your stuff's going out in the morning. If you make $100,000 on my bait, you better let me know. <laughs> How's the audio? How's the video? I, I can't tell if you guys can hear me or not. I guess you can see me. Yeah, the yak. I'm too fat for a kayak, all right? I would sink. I don't care how long it is. 22 foot, I would sink it. I try to stand up after I catch a fish and over the side I go. I don't, nope. Look like a drunk billy goat. Make some more plastic, Mr. Phillips. We do not have enough. It's 
Okay. We can do her. I have enough for one more. Good. June bug red, huh? I can honestly say I've never made that color. I made a lot of June bug. About dropped it. Got to be quick. Not June bug red. I know what it is. Easy to make. 10 inch worm. Hmm. We're just uh, dragging it. You're gonna, I'm gonna invite you to all the Randolph events next year. $40 entry. Bet you do damage. Yeah, they'll kick me out. You can't win every one of them. That's actually the first time I fished Thomas Hill in five years, six years. I can't think that far back. I don't remember what I did the other weekend. Sometimes I forget to put orders out. This needs, this needs heated up. Mr. Caps, yo! What is up, my brother? He's a smart man. He said, hell with fishing that BFL. There's too many crazy yahoos out there. I'm with you. I'm with you. Also, it looked like if you wanted to uh, compete, you need to live at the lake. That's the way it goes. If you don't live at the lake, you uh, you are behind. I'd love to live at the lake. shot? I don't know. We will find out. I do not think so. I do not think. Oh, maybe. 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 Oh, might have got lucky. It's nice to get lucky every once in a while. Mr. Carter, how's it going? Got a glare going on the phone, I can't see. Any farms three miles from Thomas Hill? We're actually doing a construction project, earth moving project at Thomas Hill, really close to my house, you know, about an hour drive. I'm working in St. Louis. Isn't that nice? Thanks, Dad. Mm. Thomas Hill could be fun, but the lake needs to come back up three feet. That's what I got from that. It's a little low. A little low. Dun, 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 dun. So I will knock these out. I need to make more plastic. Probably another two cups worth. And, uh, Switch over. We'll switch over to making uh, straight up green pumpkin brush hogs. Or no, thick sticks, magnum worms. I might have to get some more uh, get some more plastic out of the container. One thing you always got to do with your plastic, this raw material is it will kind of separate over time. 
the resin will go to the bottom and just the liquid will go to the top. So you just kind of got to stir it, shake it, get it uh, back up to snuff. This will take a little time. We'll uh, make some more. And always, when you color match, make sure you write down how many drops of this and that and everything else. That should be 20. So where did everybody else, did you get to go fishing this weekend? Is it raining on your head right now like it is mine? It's nasty outside. Nasty. No bueno. Still gonna work tomorrow though. Let's put that in for four minutes. Show you guys this sweet new sign I got. This was made by Amanda's father. Get the thing switched around here. Bait Cave Customs looks good. It's all LED lit up. You go to my fishing page. You can see where it. Uh, you can see it all lit up. Hell, you just take you lucky to see the damn desk here. So I got three different types of plastic: hard, medium, softer. Vacuum chamber. Notes you don't need to see. Um, air clamp. This thing is a lifesaver. If you ever get into this, research those. They're not cheap, a couple hundred bucks, but uh, they save your hands a lot. There you can see the 100 bait giveaway. AB worms, green pumpkin red, a whole bunch of them. The hot plate that I put swim baits on, and here is, you can see the purple lines off just a little bit. Shout out to the girlfriend. Her first swim bait she ever made, which is pretty damn good. So these are already sold. Don't ask. I ain't got time tonight to make more. <laughs> uh, over here, downstairs, is a mess. We've got baits, all sorts of baits. Random stuff. Those are sold. Mr. Adams, you'll get those. Got some brush hogs coming your way. These worms. There's all the creek water beavers, craws, and then some green pumpkin purple. And the same, more swim baits. Most of these are all sold. Just gotta get them out the door tonight. All sorts of goodies. And then of course, all the sprues, leftover plastic, and inventory. So, switch back over here, plug back in. We're gonna mix up some more of this green pumpkin and purple and keep hammering out these brush beaters. What's, uh, what's some of your all's favorite fall time colors, winter time colors? Colors, 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 you don't have to keep secret. I mean, I mean, there's only like six people watching, so nobody's gonna know. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're almost there. Thirty or fifty. That air clamp is a life suit. Speaking of BFL. If I was to ever fish a BFL, I could not do it as a co-angler. I know there's a lot of co's that do it. Me personally, I couldn't do it. I've heard nothing but bad stories from co-anglers. My boater never gave me any water. He never let me fish, never this, never that. He hit every hole before I could get to it. It's the downside of being a co-angler. You are at the mercy of the boater. If the fish are over here, he will point his boat right at him to where you are fishing off the back. Yeah, it's a dick thing to do, but 
He's the boater. He can do it. So, what is our recipe here? temperature just yet but that is fine throw over purple in here throw over green pumpkin back in here Oof. see that's kind of hot another two minutes See what you guys have. Brown never lets you down. Well, in the bait, no, it does not. Tyler, should have brought tanning oil Saturday. All I got was, some, yeah, all you caught was a sunburn. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, that's um, a lot of stories like that. A lot of stories. If you're flipping dogs, he's going down through there hitting every single hole. Stuff like that. Just. Oh well. Don't have any words of advice for that. Me personally, I've never fished BFL, so I can't really talk shit. <laughs> But if I was, I'd go as a boater. Do I think I have a chance? Well, if you don't think you have a chance, why show up? Parkland, Brooklyn, Kevin, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to the live stream. We're making brush beers tonight. Uh, green pumpkin, purple color. It's a custom color match of an existing bait that I don't think they make anymore. You can still get it in the package. I don't think they make it anymore. It's a good looking color. I'm going to be making a lot more of it, but I'm going to get these out the door and uh, let the guy have them. You're going to whack them this weekend. You need to whack one, Tyler. Not a lot, just one. I want to see a seven pounder out of you on that, okay? I might even put you on my pro staff if you do that. Uh, let you have all the air bubbles for free. We're getting there, folks. This just takes time. I know it's boring. But thanks for tuning in. Also, um, so the giveaway's over. I got the worms right here that the guy got from Maryland. Okay. Green pumpkin red. Uh, Ricky Rick one there's actually more than a hundred there. I made them all and then I found out I've got like a hundred of them over there on the shelf. I didn't persuade the guy this is just what he wanted. So technically I didn't have to make them but whatever. Uh, so <laughs> those are done. We got these beavers made. Um, Mr. Collier his order is done. Jeff your stuff's going out. Tyler stuff's going out. That's Wisdom's. God, there's like a whole bunch of stuff that I'm forgetting. I've got all the shipping labels printed, but I think there's about 12 packages going to be on the front door in the morning. You need that worm mold if they make it. What worm? What are you talking about? What worm mold? Oh, that worm mold. Uh, they make similar. Not exact. It's hard to get exact. Actually, I've got some of those worms laying right back here. Because we were throwing them this summer at nighttime. Yep. So, we're going out. As of right now, that's got me completely caught up on orders. So, you all go out, fish the big bass bash. Have fun. It's going to be interesting next spring when it's on Truman and Lake of the Ozarks. You can bet you're behind where I'm going to be. If I fish it. I was fishing stuff last year so off the wall. Nobody's going to be fishing that stuff. 
take a number. Hey. I think we're getting there. It's finally turning liquid. I gotta add color and flake to get it back to the right consistency. But at least we've gotten to this point. What other tournaments are you guys uh, fishing this year? Um, I know AIA's got their tournament coming up at Truman. Um, state championship is going on down in Toledo. Uh, there is Joe Bass. I know a few people that fish Joe Bass, and a lot of people that fish Joe Bass. Are there any other big tournaments coming up on Lake of the Ozarks? Not the bash, but uh, can't think of any. Ta -da. Sorry, I can't count and talk at the same time. So that will get my color right. Costa. Well, yeah, that's right. Well, I looked up the Costa, or the, the Toyota series now, as it is called. It didn't have LOZ. I knew that um, Costa was usually after the big bass bash. The Lake of the Ozarks just get pounded. Not by just boat waves. But, uh, yeah. You've got BFL this weekend. Big bass bash next weekend. The fish are going to be hurting. Hurting bad. But it's been like that for quite a while. This ought to get you plenty fevers, Mr. Wisdom, and I do not have enough of that. Got to dip into my other. Stash. Hold on just a second. Until 35, right? Yep. One. Two. There's that. That color is done. On to the green side. Go in for another round. Sounds like there's the laundry being done upstairs. All right, and for the green pumpkin. What we got here? Costa, yep. It was so rough yesterday. Ryan, yeah. I saw his post about being rough. Whew. Been there, done that.
can I really do this? So that is Is not readily available. Oh, so that is that. And Black Flake. I'm not even going to try mixing this stuff in because it has gotten cared. One, two, Stick these back in the microwave and uh, just let them reheat because they're too cold to stir. And we'll finish this order up. Terry, thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're making uh, beavers, brush hogs, magnum trick worms, and maybe some cinkos. That. Oh, so. Yeah, I bet Lake of the Ozarks is pretty damn rough. It can get. You know, Saturday, Saturday, yeah, you had the wind. The wind played a factor. But the biggest factor, I would assume, I was not there, was the boat traffic. It is, it's not. They need to just impose a, uh, they won't impose a size limit, but they can impose a speed limit to bigger vessels. Four thousand boats. You think that many? I think it'd be two thousand boats. I don't know if there'd be four. That's a lot. That's a lot. I might not fish, but I might come down and just say screw it, get drunk, just have a good time. But I know myself. If I go to the lake, I will want to fish. I know myself too well. Way too well. They're no good. That one's okay. That one is okay. Those will work. And that one's messed up. That one's no good. and dreams can get crushed. It's a good tournament. Oh yeah, that looks yummy. Let me know what boat ramp to meet me at. Hey, you know, I'm not ruling anything out. If you guys, <laughs> I hate to say this, if you guys would quit ordering baits, I can make some plans. The lady friend would probably not mind me fishing it. She's just, uh, bless her heart, you know, eight, nine hours of fishing is just a little bit too much. And I wouldn't take her out there on Lake of the Ozarks. She's all of four foot 11. She can't even reach the floor when she's sitting in the seat. So could you imagine that? 
riding in Lake of the Ozark waves. Oof. Nope. Nope, not at all. No thank you, no, no way, no how. All right, let's see how good my color matching is. It looks good. Tastes good. I'd eat it. It wasn't so hot. That one's a little cold. Yeah, you can walk across bows from one to the other bank, yeah. Um, the best thing to keep pleasure boaters away is, like right now, it's raining its ass off. They will run for the hills if it's raining. Now, if it's raining and it's 40 degrees, it's miserable. Ugh. You just, you're just cold. Cold to the bone. Been there, done that. That's when I met Nick Alt, the old Zerk Angler, basically on Facebook. He was looking for somebody to go fishing. I was like, well, I'm dumb. Let's go. <laughs> so it was literally 40 degrees, 40, 45, and just a nice, light, constant drizzle of rain. Blech. And we went fishing. It was in November. It was right before the uh, Thanksgiving tournament that... Um, the boys put on out of PB2. It was nasty. Oh, it was nasty. Been good friends ever since. We went and uh, fished that charity tournament out of Red Robin, or Robin, not Robin's Resort. Where were we? Red Oak. It's close. I had it right. Kind of. Was fortunate enough to take a little money home in that one. I was the professional net bitch. Man, I made it look good. Ain't nobody net like I can. He caught all five keepers. He did all the grunt work. Which is fine by me. Mm. And they were dirt ass shallow. Dirt shallow. Couldn't believe it. But it worked. So. Our boy Ryan Jordan had to come in and whip us by a pound. That's all right. That boy needs diaper money. The dap of money. Yeah, Donnie, if I decide to fish the old big bass bash, I will be sure to let you know. If it was me, I was going to fish the big bass bash. Probably be putting in a hurricane duck just because I don't want to mess with the other people. No way, no how, uh uh, not doing it. I don't know the area is good, but that's one reason I'd be putting it up there. Do a little, little reconnaissance. Oh Lord, we messed that up. Get in the hole. How many of these have we made? Do we have the magical number 50 yet? We should be getting close. hot. Very, very hot. Turn that off. 
Nick Love. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the lower temps will keep. Okay, I already heard that part. Yeah, I, for the big bass bash. Um, there's going to be plenty of goddamn pleasure boaters. This year has been one for the record books as far as boaters, pleasure boaters. close. We're very close. Then we can switch over to a good old, good old reliable green pumpkin. Now for the record, there is many versions of green pumpkin. So if you order something in green pumpkin, you need to tell me if you want like Zoom's Green Pumpkin, which is a more brown color. Or I guess if you want the standard Green Pumpkin, which is more green. Imagine that. Rocket science, right? Oh, we got us a doggo. Ranger. Oh, and we got a production man. We gotta, we gotta shut up, get back to work. Get back to work. Quit goofing off. Oh. What's that? Been playing in the dirt. Potting dirt? Okay. I've been playing down here. Make another batch of these, but I've got got these. Oh, fun! Yep. Got our color match stuff. Mm -hmm. The color match that you did. And yeah, I need to order more more of the blue flake. Y'all see that? Yes, the correct. The correct blue flake. Big fat stuff's not. <laughs> it's, I can tell it in the baits. Oh, yeah? Yep. More of like a baby blue than a, mm -hmm. or a sky blue than a dark. Me no like you. Riley no like. It wouldn't matter to me, but if we're color matching, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, they're hot. I've been down here working. Yeah. Slaving away, just, I mean, just slaving. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> so yeah, you guys know what that's all about. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I'm about to fill out, too. Mm -hmm. All right. You can probably pull it out of there. Maybe. It's hurting the dog's ears. <laughs> like, forget that's this. That's hot. Um, I'm not a mathematician. How many do I need to make 50? Yeah, that's hot too. But yeah, you can see the blue flake is a little different mm -hmm. color. I mean, bait still looks good. Fish ain't gonna tell. Oh, Grandpa once told me some words of wisdom. Baits are not made for catching fish. They're made for catching fishermen. Hmm? Hmm? How many baits have you all bought just because they look good? Oh, they're going to eat that. Mm-hmm. Sure. This neon green, pink lime, purple unicorn looking. Oh, that looks pretty. They're going to bite that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Sure. Sure they are. That's Tyler. That's Tyler. Ha! <laughs> ha! She said that was you, boy, it. <laughs> and 11, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we just need two more, and guess what? We got like six of them right here. Look at that, on cue, right there. Boom. Air compressor. Now we're switching over. Green pumpkin. Magnum trick worms that I like to call the thick stick. And some Cinco's. So, all this crap can go by, but I'm tired of looking at it. I've been looking at it for the last four hours. This was a bitch to color match. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This was a bitch. I need to start charging more for color matching. Alright, that, 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 that. I'm going to place these just out of the way. Somewhere. Right here looks good. Sorry for all the noise. Now, we're switching over to green pumpkin. My lady, could you get like a four cup? Huh? that and that because that is so low I can't get nothing out of it. Just like my self-esteem. Huh? Is it? Yeah. I don't know. That's fine. We'll make this one quick. Sorry, I was trying to find your molds for you. My what? Your molds. Oh, they're down there. So this was green pumpkin last time, so we're good. Alright. Open something up. Not gonna make any any swim baits on the uh, on the channel tonight. Those are done. Gonna go out the door. But uh, we'll mix up some green pumpkin here. He wanted twenty of that and cinco's. So two molds and then yeah. Hmm. Cinco's are gonna take a minute. They do not make any sickles. They do not make any sickles. How are you going to do that? I'm going to do what? I might have to have you make sickles later. Let's just do quick sticks. Let's bang them out. Three cups. Bang. Four minutes just to be safe. Don't want nothing to explode. Ow, that was my thumb. Johnny Perry, Tyler, yeah, you know. Man, I still can't wrap my head around that. Around, around what? Oh, he's replying to somebody else. Never mind. I'm reading the stuff, I guess. Whatever. Johnny, thanks for tuning in. We are done with the green pumpkin purple. I'll be making more of it. That's a good looking color. I want to show it to you guys, but he don't want me to show you, so. Oh, well. You'll see it after the big bass bash. How about that? Boom! It'll be in the winter circle. I told Tyler if he wins the bash mm -hmm. with one of these, uh -huh. I'd put him on my pro staff. Mm -hmm. I'd give him about a you know, 5% discount. Maybe, maybe even a 10. Maybe even a 10. We're pushing. Maybe. I'm going in the hole with 10. I told you maybe turn him on. <laughs> This woman wants new jewelry, all right? I'm, I'm the only thing between you and her when it comes to jewelry, all right? I'm setting the prices. If it was up to her, these swim baits would be like 40 bucks a pop. What? Only multicolored ones. I don't think I've made any single color swim baits. Okay, so. We're switching over. Just open this up so you guys can see it. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is what I call the thick stick. It is just a 6.25 Magnum old fatty version, oops, about it, version of the trick worm. You pay in tacos. 
man. She can only eat so much, but she can eat a ton of tacos. That woman. If you give her the option, what would you like to eat tonight? Tacos? Yo, Cleo, Taco Bell? I don't know if Mr. Johnson's still watching, but I don't know. Do you still want your jerkies, jerk bait, five inches? Hey, he is watching. He just made a comment. Hey, now, poor boy ain't got time for that. That's right. That is correct. I hope you don't want them jerk baits tonight because I'm getting tired. And I got a new packaging. And I just about reached for the heat stabilizer for a drink. That, that lights your fire. So I showed everybody, I was showing your, everybody your, your craft, your artwork, her first swim bait she made. These are not the ones that are in the pictures that I took, but they're identical. They look good, and they're already sold. Mr. Johnson was saying the eyes flew out of his on like first cast, but that's when I tried to put that Gorilla Glue, that cement stuff on there. Uh, yeah, they are really shit. These are a lot better. I tried to put super glue on there and it wasn't a good thing. It wasn't a good thing. Uh -huh. We had to figure that out. A couple. Worst case scenario, I could skin skin dip the front just to keep the eyes on. So, if you guys have got swim baits, got them coming, if the eyes come out of them, let me know. I'll uh, get it remedied. Let me know, let me know. Warm oil. He loves, his he loves his squeaky toy. That dog has got some chompers like an alligator. He eats cars and two by fours and door frames. Yeah, he chewed up your car. That's hilarious. Wasn't my truck. Thank God it wasn't my truck. Mr. Kramer, Jason Kramer, Jesus Christ. Hey, age has got a funny thing that does to us, right? I'm getting big. He's the old high school buddy. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, back when my pimping was strong. Oh, the good old days. I'd have loved to have laughed at you then. Oh, hey, I'm just as funny now as I was then. Quite the character. All right. This takes a while. What? Is there a comment? What we got here? We all get better looking. Yeah, like fine wine, better with age, right? I look more dignified. It's your silvery fox. Uh-uh. <laughs> I am young. I'm a lean, mean fishing machine. That one almost didn't come out right, did it? <laughs> Starts with an F. Hi, Mom! topic is. That's going to fall. Man, I haven't made any thick sticks in a while. All right. Green pumpkin is a very, very color, easy color to make. If you've got the right ingredients. Pretty much you can go to the places where you can buy all your bait making supplies. And if you want a blue fleck, you want a green pumpkin, you want a plum. That's the color you buy. You don't have to mix multiple colors together. 
Not anymore. But when you get to custom color matching like I just did, that takes time. A little drop here, drop there, add a little more, hold it up to the light, see if it's the right color. I would have never been able to make that color if I didn't have a bait to hold in my hand to copy. So, we'll shoot some worms here, then we'll probably sign off because I gotta get packaging done and I gotta be up at like 4 15 in the morning again. What's the biggest fish caught on one of your baits? There's been a lot of uh, fives, probably a six down Lake of the Ozarks, 10 inch. Uh, AB worm night tournaments. I don't know the exact answer to that one. Hopefully, I can. The biggest fish I caught last year was a 6.3, but it was on a stick bait. That was the biggest Lake of the Ozarks bass I've ever caught. It's not my PB, but I'd say there was fives, five six pounders on the ribbon tail worm. be my assumption on that. There's going to be like a seven pounder caught like next weekend, right guys? All right? Yeah, I could see how those eyes would not want to work too good. I'll work on that. I might start skin dipping the, the tops. We'll see. You guys that are getting swim baits this week, let me know. If they come apart, let me know. They will catch them without eyes, too. I've had guys request no eyes. If you don't want eyes in your baits, let me know. Hey. They don't cost that much. You're getting them for free, pretty much. Some places charge you about two bucks for eyes. Da 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 da. All right, here we go. Zoom's variation of green pumpkin. 30 drops per cup. So that's 90 drops. drops bang just like that ah, dropping crap and the other easy part as your compressor kicks on conveniently quarter teaspoon per cup below 35 and you have Green pumpkin. That's it. Done. Stir it in. Shoot. You are good to go. One of the most fish catchingest colors, and I have no idea why. Works all year long. like that. Now, top these off just a little bit. So we don't get any air bubbles. Looks thin. Don't know why. Hmm. So 
how many people are not fishing the big bass bass? There's a lot of people going to be fishing it. A lot of people going to be fishing it. Yeah, if I do decide to fish it, my boat's ready. But I'm not. It's part of it, right? So yeah, I'm going to make... Uh, one more shot of these and that's going to be it for the night um so i thank you guys for uh tuning in of course as always go subscribe to the youtube page i say that all the time i know it gets old if you're already subscribed get the content growing i was going to go live on youtube tonight but i can't because i don't have a thousand subscribers fooey but that's fine that's going to take a while to get there not too worried about it Yep, I kind of like doing this live thing every uh, Sunday night. So you guys can just sit back, relax, and watch me mess up a bunch of baits. That sort of thing. Because I'm good at it. Very, very good at it. I got a mess out here in front of me. Whew. Oh, shoot. So... Yep, I'm going to shoot 10 more of these, 10 more baits, and I'm going to get off here. So I thank you guys for uh, tuning in to the live stream tonight. I got to get the package and some materials, get them out on the front step tonight or in the morning once the rain's over. So you guys can get your baits. So thank you guys once again for tuning in. I'm trying, going to try to do this every Sunday night um, unless something happens, you know, get busy uh, working out of town. So I thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. If you got something you want to see, you want to order, send me a message on this fishing page. And uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. Oh, it's been a long day. Hopefully you guys uh, have a good good week, good Monday. Get amped, get pumped for the Big Bass Bash coming up next weekend. One of you sons of bitches is going to win $100,000. So, boom. There we go. That ain't a sales pitch. I don't know what it is. We're going to see you guys later. Have a good night.